Hello, my name is Fred Rose, and today I would like to do a video on my updated September 2018 Balasong collection. So my collection has greatly increased since the last time I did it back in April of 2017. So what I'm going to do is not spend much time doing tricks with the knives. I'm just going to show you them and tell you a bit about them. And another reason is because right now I am a bit mid-bleed. But it's funny because those are actually pinches rather than cuts, which is very annoying. So, yeah, you'd think if you're going to bleed from a balance line, because you're going to get cut. But nope, those are just tight little pinches that are not comfortable at all. So let's get into the ballast songs here. I have them lined up. The photograph and the thumbnail will show that. I've got them all lined up and I'm going to go from least value to most value. So let us begin. Start with these three knives here. Here's one of them. This is, I think, it's just a stainless steel Chinese knife, very small thin handles and everything. Very little. And I have three of these, and I got these from the Pumpkin Festival and Pumpkin Show. And every year I go there and I buy some kind of new knife, because they have this really cool knife shop there. So yeah, I was able to get this. See the little pins there? But this is not a, a quality knife, but it is fun. It's good memories from where I got it from. We have also the red version of that. So it has a different finish on the handles, but otherwise it's the exact same design. And we also have a green version of that. So those are these three. Not sharp at all and the steel, very mild steel is not great. But for the price I got it, I mean, I don't know. Even then you might consider this like not a good deal. I got them for $25, all three of them. So it's just there. You know, it, was, it was there. These are all they had. So I decided I just wanted to pick them up. So I do like them. They have, they actually, they, they're not bad, they're not that bad for doing tricks. I do a lot of power aerials with these when I use them. Next we have the first real ball song I got. This is the Baron Sun 114 Silver Vein. And I do have a video on this knife and the other 114s that I did with Brandon back in 2017. And this knife is nice. I'll show you the blade in the light here. So this this knife lasted me three years. Sadly, it is broken now. The handle up here is broken, so this knife is not too usable anymore. But it suddenly got dark in here. So yes, I can't use this knife anymore. So it's sad. It's a memorial knife, basically. I can never get rid of this though, because I used to think that this was the pinnacle of Balasong quality back in the old days, spring 2015. That was back when I had my old channel. It's back when I was Black Rose. I, I used to be Black Rose, if you did not know. Black Rose Horror. And that came from, that. even that came from another channel. So if you remember that, then yeah, you're one of the old, very old viewers. So, yes, this knife is good, and I enjoy having it. It's just... I'm not sure if I would recommend getting one of these. They either break in three months or three years. I mean, this lasted me three years, but... I know that a lot of them are susceptible to breaking zinc handles. Just gotta be easy on them. So, next. We've got this. This is the 114 black version, and this one is not broken. 
so this one is still usable and this also is in the video it's pretty sharp and it doesn't look like it will break although the well the, the latch is very bad quality it's just like plastic but the handles are actually not bad but you can see the quality control bearings on up here see at the top of the handle how that's like shaved off design. All the Baron Sons are a bit different. Again, again just because of the quality control. But really for $30 it's not a bad investment if you're soon to get another one. Of, so yeah, it's not bad. So I like this knife. I got it a while ago and I don't use it too much because I just have a lot of other knives. But this is good and I enjoy it. Next we have the Chinese Sabafly, and I no longer buy clones, condone the buying of clones. Uh, so this is the Sabafly, and not do tricks very well. And this is not that actually gave me my worst cut ever. A big one right here. I was doing a Zen rollover, and I was a, a beginner back then, a real beginner, 2016, and it cut in deeply right into here, to the nerves and everything. So, same fly, it was like $20. So I really just wanted this for the collection. And related to the same fly is the spider fly clone. So this is actually a pretty good bell song. I can do tricks with this and I actually occasionally do use it still. So it's not bad. I like this one. It can actually do things. It's it's good for momentum. Chaplains. Let me try some zero gravity something here. I don't know if you can see this though. It actually does these zero gravity thumb chaplains. So I do like that about this. And it does carry momentum pretty well, so a spider fly. Not the real spider fly. We'll move on to something interesting here. We have these. These are, this is an ice tech. And this is basically a 42 replica. I wouldn't call it a clone, but rather a replica. Just because it is, doesn't have any benchmade markings on it. So, this was the knife that I purchased after my Ice Tech 43 replica broke, which we'll get to next. This lasted me about a month or two, and it was pretty good. But now it is no longer in use because the handles are broken. Not exactly broken, but I used this knife for parts to fix my 51. So I took a screw from this, put it in my 51. So. This knife also gave me a good cut. I was doing a fan aerial, and I got a big cut. You might be able to see this scar on my index finger here from a fan aerial. Move on to maybe the most iconic knife on the whole channel. This is the Ice Tech 43 replica. This knife is beat. It is loose, destroyed, basically. And not really too functional anymore. I taped it. Handles were coming apart. This is when I knew nothing about balisong maintenance. So I thought that the fact that the screw came out of the handles meant that it was broken. I easily could have just lock tightened it and put it back in, but I had no idea about any of that. So I made a pretty big deal about it. It technically like breaking, though not really breaking. So yeah, I was sad. I made a whole video. Like, rest in peace, Ice Tech 43. All I had to do was just lock tight it or tape the handle, which I finally did, but by then I had bought other knives. So, yes, this is this knife was iconic because it was in a lot of my videos, used it all the time, and I brought this knife everywhere. And I learned a lot of tricks on this. Almost all the tricks I know were learned on this knife. So, it is really good memory, good to have. Now we're going to get into 
sort of the high-end knives. Not all of these are high-end, but these are actually the quality knives. So I might put a timestamp in the description or the comment section where we actually get into the, the good knives. First up is the MagSace DMG. And this is, as far as I know, let me see. Yes, this is the only knife that I have that actually runs on bearings rather than bushings or washers. So it is a lot different. It's quite sharp. It has the signature MagSace blade, the black G10 version. And this knife actually might be leaving me soon, possibly, not sure yet. But I might be selling this to Warren. Uh, we will be talking about it soon. So I have some things I would like to buy with the money I might get from this, which will be on the channel eventually. So we'll see. I do like this knife. And I know I said I wasn't going to sell knives, but honestly, I just feel like if Warren did buy this, it would get a lot more use than it does from me. Because it doesn't exactly fit my preference for battle song as some other ones do and he really enjoys this knife so i just feel like he would enjoy it a lot more than i could which is why we want to do this normally i would not be selling a knife but it, it's possible that this will be leaving my collection so if you did look at it the max says dmg Now a knife that has never been before seen on Red Rose. This is the Blade Runner Systems Bare Bones. It's never ever been on the channel. I got it, I believe, on January 2nd, 2018. So a good while ago. But never ever showed it off. I made an unboxing video. But I never uploaded it because I found that the unboxing video was just rushed and not very good. So, it's actually the same case for the replicant. I made an unboxing video, but I never uploaded it because I didn't like the video. I didn't think it was quality. So, here it is. I do like this knife, but it needs Loctite. -ed. It's quite loose. Not right now, because I just tightened it, but... I should lock tight it. I actually did lock tight it, but apparently it wasn't enough because now it's loose again. So here it is. I like this knife a good bit. It's fun to use. And I think it gets some unwarranted hate. I find it to be pretty good. And I think I don't have a problem with the sharp spine. I don't have a problem with this either. Nothing's been done to it. I mean, I don't know. Perhaps it's because with my other hobbies, my hands are more tough to things like this that some other Biosong users would not have, but I don't know. I just don't feel that it's a big deal. So yes, that's it. This is the Blade Runner Systems Bare Bones. I'd like to show you this. I'm sure if you can see this, but on my middle finger here, it looks like the cuts made a little smiley face here see two eyes and a mouth. It's interesting. So next on the list we have the Blade Runner Systems Replicant. It's a very good knife and I've been using it a lot lately. And it does things very well. I still don't think it's my favorite knife but I really like it. So this is a very good knife and it's one that I'm really glad to have in my collection and I'll probably never sell because of how good it is. It's just one of those, it does everything you want it to and really well. So, I'm doing a little bit of tricks with it so you can see in action a little bit. So I like this knife a lot. I think it's quite good. The replicant I got this there was a bit of a deal trying to get this but I finally got it at my house and here it is I've enjoyed it since got it back in June so the replicant next we have 
the Benchmade 62. So you all know how the Benchmade 62 is. Not the best for tricks. But honestly, again, like the bare bones, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's just, it doesn't have the same luxuries as something like the Replicant has. But I think it's a good knife in its own way. It's obviously not a top tier knife, but you can you can actually use this pretty well. You just need to use it for a little bit, give it some time, and eventually it will start to make sense on how to use it. You just really need to figure it out, kind of like the 51. So I'm not going to tell you that this is the best knife for doing tricks or even close, but I will say give it a chance and you might enjoy using it sometimes. I have a long 40 minute video on the 62 for you to watch if you'd like reviewing and discussing the knife. So that's it, Benchmade 62. Next we have the Benchmade 51, and this is quite a good valve song. It is basically the counterpart to the Replicant. Now this knife, a lot of people say that it's a good beginner knife. I'm not sure that I would agree. It is good. It's, it's a beginner knife in some ways and also not a beginner knife in others. It's a beginner knife, well it's not because it's very sharp, very fast, a bit hard to use, but it is for the same reasons a beginner knife. It will teach you how to do things and will not train you to be lazy with a knife. And you will actually learn more of the discipline you need with a bow song to not get cut all the time. Although you will only learn that through getting cut many times. So this is the 51 and it's not, this isn't the kind of knife that will hold your hand while you're trying to learn tricks. You really have to make the momentum for this knife and make it work by yourself. So it's good to learn on and will teach you how to do some of those things. So this is the 51. I have a video on this, it's about 20 minutes, maybe you can watch on the channel as well. It's a bit ways back, July 2017 is when I uploaded this video, so same story, review and discussion. I like this knife a lot. Finally, we have my favorite knife in my collection, and that is the Benchmade 42. This is a real 42, a 154cm spring latch 42, genuine and in pretty good condition, and so this knife is like, I think it's 15 plus years old so obviously it's a little bit tired it could use some maintenance but overall it's a very good knife and is my favorite so let me give you a good look at the 42 this is a grill knife for a lot of people it's my grill knife my favorite and I just find that it works for me it fits my style and Overall, it's my favorite knife when it comes to appearance as well. I just don't find that there's any other Balasan I enjoy using more than the 42. So it is my favorite. It's what I do all my tutorials with. And it is what it is. It's a legendary Balasan. Everybody knows about the Benchmade 42. Everybody wants Benchmade 42. That's really just about it. So that is the last knife in the collection. Ended off with the best knife of all. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and this will probably be the last Balasong video I have for a while besides I'm going to finish off the beginner tutorials and the Knife Work Month series. But as you know, the Balasong videos have not been as popular on the channel. So hopefully the collection video does well, the last one did. So. That is about it for this video. My name is Fred Rose, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.